for another week of online music. All right, here's our plan for today. Of course, we will start with a song. We'll start with a hello song. And then we're going to review that song that Mr. Z had you do last week. Do you remember listening to a song called Stars and Stripes Forever? Yeah, we're going to be doing a lesson with that, playing some rhythm right along with it. And then I have a new patriotic song to share with you today called America the Beautiful. Let's get started. Okay, first and second graders, before we do anything, let's start with a mindful moment. We want to make sure our bodies feel calm and relaxed. And we want to focus our eyes, our ears, our mind, and our bodies on the music. Let's be ready to learn today. Take a deep breath in, arms come up and down. Arms come up again, big deep breath in and down. We're listening to the song called America the Beautiful. Now no one's singing it, so you don't hear the words, but you can hear the tune played by the orchestra. This song was written over 100 years ago by a woman named Katherine Lee Bates. And we have kind of a cool connection to her because she's from Massachusetts. Yeah, she was born on Cape Cod. And after she graduated from college, she got a job to teach over in Colorado. So she left Massachusetts, traveled by train, and went all the way to Colorado. And then on the way, she made all these stops. She stopped in Niagara Falls. She stopped in Chicago. She saw the view from Pikes Peak in Colorado. And all of those things, all of those places inspired her to write the words to America the Beautiful. Because our country is beautiful. Let's take another deep breath in. We'll sing this song at the end of class today. All right, so of course we're starting with our hello song and I have my snare drum player Hudson here. Do you wanna play with us? Yeah. All right, we're going to get right into the song when we clap. Do you remember how we clap for Yes Indeed? Let's have the drum play for Yes Indeed, all right? Let's sing and clap, ready, go. about that song from last week. Do you remember when Mr. Z talked to you about Stars and Stripes Forever? <laughs> well, that was written by an American composer named John Philip Sousa. He wrote it in 1896, and it was such a hit. It was such a hit when he, when he had it performed by the band. Um, Congress made it our country's national march the very next month. Yeah. Stars and Stripes Forever is actually called Our Country's National March. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk about the music today. We're going to do a little rhythm. We're going to keep a beat with it. Um, and so I hope that you're ready to, to, to drum right along with me to John Philip Sousa's Stars and Stripes Forever. So when I was with you a couple of weeks ago, we talked about having a drum in your house, maybe not a snare drum, but a box or a bowl or a pot or a plastic container. Can you go grab something? Because I think we're gonna do some drumming to the stars and stripes forever. Okay, so I have my pasta box and a couple of markers. So I'm all set, I hope you are too. All right, so we're going to listen to stars and stripes forever. 
It's a long song. It's about four minutes long, and we're going to listen to the whole thing. But we're not just going to play our drums the whole time because the song has different sections. In fact, it has four different sections. Now, when we did Yankee Doodle, you probably remember it had two sections, a verse and a refrain, verse, refrain, verse, refrain. The music was always the same, even for the verse, the music was the same, but the words were different. Well, when we have music like Stars and Stripes Forever with no words, you know, we don't really call it verse, refrain. We, you know, we don't even really have fancy words. You know what we call it? We just give it a letter of the alphabet. So the first section of the song is called the letter A. And then the next section, if it's different, they give it the next letter, which would be B. And then C and then D, however many sections it has. So Stars and Tri Stripes Forever has four different sections. And if you listen, you can hear the music change. So we're going to do four different things. All right, so let's try to keep track of this. For section A, we're going to march. Can you march with me? I might even go outside and do some marching. I might even have my kids march with me. But we're gonna march to the steady beat. March, 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 march. Two, three, four. <laughs> then for section B, we'll grab our markers and we'll do the steady beat right on the drum. Just a steady beat. Kind of the same way you march. Just, you know, instead of doing left, right, left, right, you just bang your sticks on the drum. So A is marching, B is drumming to the steady beat. All right, C is where it gets complicated. C, we're going to have a completely new rhythm to play. When it, we hear part C, we're going to play this rhythm. Four quarter notes, eighth notes, So let's look at that rhythm. You see the four quarter notes, four eighth notes, another quarter note followed by a quarter rest. So you have that one beat of silence right there at the end. So let's say it with the ta's and the titi's. Ta, 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 ti, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ti, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ti. All right, that's the C section. All right, now there's a D section in Stars and Stripes Forever. When it's the D section, we're actually going to have a pattern on your drum and your sticks. Do you think you can go back and forth? Just a steady beat, back and forth, drum sticks, drum sticks, drum sticks, drum sticks. That's the D section. Okay, let's review all our sections. A, marching to the steady beat. B, drumming to the steady beat. C, that rhythmic pattern of quarter notes and eighth notes. I mean, some would say C is the hardest, right? Because you have to really pay attention to the rhythm. And then D is back to a steady beat but we have a two beat pattern. Okay, let's talk about the form of Stars and Stripes Forever. We're giving a letter to each section. The form goes like this. A, A, B, B, C, D, C, D, C. That's nine sections to the song. <laughs> That's a lot. All right, let's do it again. The form of the song is A, A, B, B, C, D, C, D, C. So think about what we're going to do now. A, we march. B, we play our drum. C, we do that rhythm with the ta's and the tt's. And D, we have that two beat pattern on our drum. So what's the most challenging one here? It's definitely going to be C. We're going to play it three times. 
not in a row, it goes C, D, C, D, C, three times, and we have to make sure that we play the right rhythm. It's not just a steady beat. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. Did you get all the sections of the song? A, B, C, D, but then there's the repeats. I mean, I hope you were able to follow along. So listen, you can go back on this video and practice it as many times as you want. If you listen to it enough, you actually can almost predict when the new section will come. You can, you can tell exactly when it's happening, when the change in the music is coming, and you can be really ready for the next thing to do with your hands or your drum or whatever. Let's go back and just practice that C section. The C section is the one with the quarter notes and the eighth notes and the rest and everything. And I think that's probably the hardest. So let's go back and practice that one one more time. Okay, we're listening. Get ready for those quarter notes. Ready? One, two, three, four. Quarter notes, eighth notes, rest. Let's try that again. Okay, here's the C section. Get ready. 
ready for those quarter notes. Play those drums. One, two, three, four. Again, you can go back on this video and practice that as many times as you like. Maybe you can get people in your family drumming and marching right along with you. I got my family to march along with me. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to our last part of our lesson. We're going to sing a new patriotic song called America the Beautiful. And our country is indeed beautiful. I bet you can imagine some places right now that you think are really beautiful in our country. Maybe it's your backyard. <laughs> Maybe it's the uh, Cinderella's Castle at Disney World. <laughs> or maybe it's a beautiful forest with trees and a waterfall and a brook and whatever in nature that you think is really pretty. I'm going to share the song with you, America the Beautiful.
Okay, first and second graders, our music lesson is over, but the fun doesn't have to stop. Would you like to hear more of Stars and Stripes Forever? Well, on your online learning, the document that got sent home, there's the website, so go check it out. You can also see the rhythm that we practiced, and you can keep practicing it. And please sing America the Beautiful. The words are right here in the document. Send me a picture, send me a video. I would love to hear from you, and so would Mr. Z. Have a good week.